Hello everybody, Sandra Delajah here. Um, you know, many people have seen the news that I've, I was able to leave Ukraine and that my limitations are uh, lifted to travel and to be able to do what I need to do all over the world. Even though I'm not very enthusiastic about traveling anymore, I just want to sit down and do training. But uh, sometimes it might be necessary to go. Well, but God used Brazil to open the door for me to leave Ukraine for the first time after 11 years. And uh, now I can go anywhere at any time. But uh, Brazil is uh, the first country that God used uh, to open this opportunity for me and uh, is the country of my discovery. Uh, many people have been asking about my impressions and my feelings. Yeah. Let me start by talking to you about how this whole thing happened. Well, I was uh, doing my own thing here, minding my own business in Ukraine when I got a letter from um, Brazil saying they want me to come and speak for them. This is a, conf a conference for businessmen and Christian businessmen, the largest organization of Christian businessmen in the world in over 90 countries and over 2,000 branches. And um, I just said, well, I don't have time because uh, I'm in court and I don't even know if the Ukrainians will let me go anyway. And I've not been out in 11 years. But these people were so full of faith. And I was saying, what happened? Why, why did you people all of a sudden decided to invite me? Well, they said they read my book. And there is a friend of mine that I have, uh, you know, I had not even seen him in 10 years. And I spoke in his church last time. It was 11 years ago in Chicago. His name is Bill Winston. Excellent. Bill Winston bought my book when I was in his church 11 years ago. But I didn't know that he was taking my books with him everywhere. So when he was preaching in one place, uh, these Brazilians were there and he was telling them about my book. And he said, I have his book. He went to his hotel and gave them one of my books. And that was church shift. And those people read church shift and said, we must have this man. So that's how it happened. And I said, I cannot go because I'm, I'm in court. They said, well, we want you to come. They wrote me two letters, I didn't reply. Then they sent a representative down to come and convince me to come. I said, well, I'm, it's not about me, it's about the Ukraine government. Would they let me go or not? They said, don't worry, we are going to pray. So they started to pray, write letters to the government here and everything, and that's how God used the Brazilians to open the door for me to go to Brazil. And um, the court granted me leave in the country, but gave me the permission to go, and um, that is it. And in 11 years, first time, and I would like to show you a few of the videos. I, I think you should see the video. I will show you the video of uh, my invitation when I was inviting the Adonet members to come to the conference. I was doing that by faith that I was going to come. It was by faith. But before I even decided to come, these Brazilians, apart from sending their representative to come and convince me, the president himself and the wife flew into Ukraine to convince me to come. So uh, you will see the video as well when I was standing with the uh, president of the Adonet organization and inviting people to come to the Adonet by faith that I was going to be there. At, at this time, I didn't have the permission to leave Ukraine and I didn't have the visa to go to Brazil. But we were doing this, all these two videos that you're saying, that it is, it's all by faith. And I'm going to show you of the drama and the excitement that I met when I got to Brazil just very soon yeah now <laughs> this is excitement you see the video you are seeing now that is how i'm i was welcomed in brazil uh, of course before i came to brazil there was my team i had a team of 15 people that knew that i was supposed to come but even though i didn't have a visa and i didn't have uh, permission uh, they were by faith they took their tickets and they went to brazil ahead of me so they have been in brazil for a week ahead of me before I came. So some of them came to the airport with some Brazilians, of course, to welcome me. So that is the video that has gone viral all over the world now, how I was welcomed in Brazil. But uh, I also like to show you for some photographs of my team, uh, because a day after I came, they had to leave. So this is my team. You see the, my team members they were in the hotel, then in the rancho where they were living. And uh, yeah, so that's, these are all the people who came with me. I have group team members from Ukraine, uh, from Russia, from England. 
So all these people came to be with me over there and we had a wonderful, wonderful time in Brazil. You've seen the messages and you've seen uh, all the reports from Brazil. Well, I just need to tell you the story of how everything started. Blessings. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Now, we need to spread this word and we need to do it together. For that to happen, we need your help. Just five little steps that you could help us to spread the word. Number one thing we need you to do is to like the videos. Please go like this video right now. Number two, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Number three, we need you to press and click on that notification bell. You see the bell? Go press on it. And number four, we need you to go comment. Write your comment, good or bad, just write what you feel. Number five, share, share, share. Share on every platform. Share on Instagram, share on Facebook. Just share and spread the word. Thank you so much.